I never thought I would be the person to tell this story. The story of underprivileged boys turning their lives around. Boys becoming novice monks. This is a story of resilience, endurance, inspiration, and hope. For anyone going through a difficult time, I hope this story of the human spirit inspires you and rekindles light in your time of darkness. There is light at the end of the tunnel, and this too shall pass. With love, Lumpy Nick. While the rest of the world is still asleep, these young novices are awake, fully dressed, and ready for morning chanting. They make their last minute adjustments and silently await the teaching monk. On cue, they begin morning chanting, followed by meditation.
Immediately after meditation, the novice begins their morning chores. The chores are separated into 17 different activities that help maintain the temple and its grounds. Once assigned, they perform these chores for an entire year. This serves as a journey of learning and self-sufficiency for the novices. These are skills that inspire confidence, knowledge, and discipline, all valuable traits that will carry with them throughout their lives. All these skills prepare the young novices for greater opportunities beyond the monasteries or within it should they choose to remain of service there. What you have been witnessing is a place called Wat Ban Kun, a beautiful temple located in northern Thailand. Wat Ban Kun is a sublime setting, fertile ground for extraordinary transformations. Founded 18 years ago, the temple sprawls over 96 rai, or approximately 38 acres, and is currently home to nearly 200 novice monks. These devotees are aged 12 to 18 years. 
many of them brought to the temple by extremely poor families, hoping for a better future for their young sons. Many novices at Wat Ban Khun come from Thailand's Hill Tribe people, villages in the country's remote northern areas. Poverty is widespread and severe in many of these villages, and the temple offers a sanctuary, an escape from the lack of opportunity that pervades such places. Secondary school is often beyond the financial reach of Highland families. So Wat Ban Khun is often their only option to further child's education. Pra Kru Sangwon Rasiti Chot is the temple's abbot, who ensures the welfare and spiritual health of his monks, teachers, and students. With no television, phones, or social media distractions, the young novices learn to focus on the essentials of mind and body. At Wat Ban Khun, these young novices receive food, a safe place to stay, and a quality education. They learn to read, write, and speak several languages, including Thai, English, and Bali, the sacred language of Theravada Buddhism. ประการหนึ่งแสดงธรรมไปตามลำดับสองอ้างเหตุผลแนะนำให้ผู้ฟังเข้าใจสามตั้งจิตเมตตาปรารถนาให้ผู้ฟังนำไปใช้ประโยช
regardless of one's background, they contribute a small part each day. Novices are shown how to navigate among a diverse society of peers, how to cooperate and care for others, how to give selflessly, and how to be a valuable part of a larger whole. Lunchtime is another opportunity for the novices to connect, learn, and train. While eating, the novices get to develop proper eating habits and manners like sitting up straight and not spilling their food. Each day, they learn to take the proper amount of food to have enough energy to last them for the entire day. However, not taking too much food where it makes them tired, thus developing the skill of consideration. They practice mindfulness by keeping their gaze on their own plate, eating in silence, and eating for its intended purpose, to sustain the body. While much of the day is spent learning and making physical contributions to the community, lunchtime is family time. Each lunch comes with an opportunity for one of the novices to share his own personal story, giving him a chance to be witnessed by others. These light-hearted interactions with the novices and teaching monk build relationships and add a daily element of camaraderie over a shared meal. It displays that teaching monks care, loving kindness, and compassion for his young novices.
As the day comes to a close, the novices end with evening chanting and meditation. While discipline and cleaning of the exterior world is stressed, the heart of the work is on purifying one's inner world. The long, arduous day serves to prepare the novices for meditation. While the novices may not have much materially, they live a life that is rich spiritually. With all the odds stacked against them, they bravely train themselves day in and day out and overcome the real enemy, oneself. They understand that the real battle is within. If one can conquer himself, only then does he inspire true change.